Alright guys, back at it again. Okay, last time we left off, I told you guys I was going to pull off the cylinder head. When pulling off a cylinder head, your best bet is to pull it off with the intake manifold. So, that's the port injection right there. And that's sitting mounted on top of the intake manifold. So your best bet is just to pretty much take off the intake, the head, if you can, the distributor as one whole assembly because otherwise you'll be tinkering with bolts you can't see and really it's a whole lot easier to do it off the engine on a bench. This way you get it off the car you can access all the bolts much easier it's just a whole lot less of a headache so to take off this cylinder head I've got to access this cover which is held on by about four bolts and I can get that cover off by first taking off the um, the uh, crank pulley I've got to loosen the uh, alternator take off the serpentine belts and once that all comes off, once the crank pulley comes off, the timing belt cover comes off, I release the timing belt uh, tension, and from there I pretty much can take off the valve cover, access the head bolts, uh, disconnect the radiator hose, and pull it all off. Alright, so I'll do that in the next video. Later.